Keep watching Charis TV. Remember, we have been placed in this world for a short time. And uh, God, God wants you to dominate. Are you hearing that? God wants you to do what? To dominate. If, if you are failing to dominate, it looks like your God is a failure. In fact, you are, you are supposed to have a testimony. Are you hearing that? God must give you a house whereby your generation, your, your grand, 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 grand will know that God has done this and they will serve God. The reasons why uh, there's still Israel and it's preserved and now it's known is for us also to do what? To know there was Jesus. Are you hearing that? There have to be a record. It's coming. It's really coming. It, right now you are seeing nothing. Your family must be saved because of you. Yeah. The amen is very weak. Yeah. I say your family must be saved because of you. Yeah. The things must happen to extend that people have to ask. Ah, no. Maybe you're using a charm here. Is, and you say it's Jesus. You say it's what? It's Jesus. Things must happen in a way. In a way that there have to be something happening in your life. Ask your neighbor. Is not, nothing is happening. Nothing. Ask. Answer the neighbor. Answer the neighbor. If there is nothing, say I'm going there. So you... you you must never be afraid of what is happening because you have to deal with yourself. Remain as righteous. You are, the Bible says you are the righteousness of God. The righteousness of God, we must see him by his character, by his lifestyle, and also by the precepts that he will show in his life. I believe this year we will see progress in your life. I see we'll see progress in your life. Don't, don't worry about, listen to this. I just want to take you. Don't worry about what is happening now, if there is nothing. There have to be some delays fighting this, whatever, failure. But at the end, you're a winner. Amen. There can be anything to prove that your God is not working. But at the end, he will show up. I see your God working in your life. Yeah. Lift up your hands. We go back to the message. We ask God to help us to identify things that affect our behaviors, our characters, to be negative, to be wrong, because we need to be the just. Prayer, prayer, prayer. Father, we thank you today. Your word says the just shall live by faith, by your word. So today, we are sowing our character to your will. We are sowing our character to your word. We are sowing our character. Yes, we are sowing. We are giving our character. We are giving our character. Father, there are things we are correcting in our lives. We know that we cannot be perfect. We know that we cannot be. Father, as we are praying today, We know that you are helping us to stand. To stand your will. To stand in righteousness. To stand in your love. Thank you, Father, for your mercy. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. We are all born with pride. Allow me to tell you that. We are all born with pride.
pride. That is why when you start to uh, have money, you want to go to a beautiful place. I'm sure you have seen that. That when uh, you want to have money, you start to look around, okay, this is the house of the village, you know, you want to destroy it, you understand? Yeah. Because we are all born with what? With pride. But the pride that you are born with, God wants to destroy it. Are you hearing me? So that you live according to him. You know, you know your, your pride makes you to fight to get something. But when you live according to him, God will guide you every step towards the destiny he has set for you. I mean, your pride makes you to compete. Are you hearing me? You, you compete. No, this one can't beat me. That one can't. Oh, I mean, uh, even when you're a coward, you can, you can tell people that, me, I can kill. I can kill. But when this pride dies off, you say, I leave it to God. I leave this to God because it's God who fight for me. It's no longer me in all this. Christ lives in me. Amen. So, we, we are all born with what? With pride. Let's agree. Let's agree. The problem we don't agree. We don't agree. We don't agree. If you're a pastor, when you lay hands on a person and the person doesn't fall, you want to push him. You, yes, yes, yes. It's not wrong. We are born with pride. Because you feel like pushing the person. And the person, when is down, therefore you will get the results. You think that when the person has fallen down, it's results. We are born with what? With pride. We forget that our Lord will just say, go away, you are healed. And the person went away. Can you see that? The Lord will, will, won't come there and chisel a pose like you. No, he won't do that. He won't shake you. He won't shake you. He will just say a word. Because it will be a word from the righteousness eh? that he has. The moment when we take that position of being just, when we speak our word, it won't fall to the ground. Amen. Are you hearing me? Amen. It's time now that we believe that we have a package here. Because here we are tested this, that, this. Whatever that is happening to you is to make your word that you, you will speak, that will come to pass. It's not issues of, hey, I'll pray and change this situation. No, 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 no. Situation will come to test you. Do you, do you say you are Christian? Boom, sickness come. Are you still a Christian? Problem come. Are you still a, are you hearing that? Your servant say, hey, I'm the just. I've been justified by God. So I will live according to his will. Whatever you say is going to be a test for you. You're in a church here. Say, me, I'll die in charis. I'll die in charis, my God. You, you are going to get the test of checking what you said. Are you? Before you are able to speak things to come to pass. God will never approve you to speak things to come to pass when you are failing to stand on your word. It must start by you. I say, no, me. I say, I will leave Charis. Boom. Problem come. Me, I'm, I won't leave Charis. Boom. I won't leave Charis. Boom. Now go say, oh, this one. He be, whatever he says, he stand on it. Boom. I won't leave Charis. Boom. I don't know if I have to leave Charis or not. Boom. Get some my team. The thing you, you believe in, it will never come to you. You fail here, you'll fail there. I don't know if you're hearing me. You fail here, you fail. You, you are born with pride. Remember what I was trying to tell you. You are born with what? Tell about you are born with pride. God wants people who believe in their statement. If you don't believe in your statement, you have pride. 
You are defending yourself. Lift up your hands and we pray. Say, Holy Father, today I deal with my pride. Spirit of pride in my life. I break it today. Can you begin to break that spirit? The spirit that wants you to fail. It's a spirit that wants you to change your faith. I break this spirit in the name of Jesus. I break this spirit in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen.